stacking. The first and most important step in stacking your dog is to gain control of the dog's head. You must have control of the dog's head to have control of dog. This is achieved in either of two ways. One method is by making sure the show lead is snug just behind the ears, holding the lead tight and close to the neck. Hold the lead just tight enough to keep it in place, but not so tight as to choke the dog. The other way is by holding the dog's lower jaw and cheek on the side closest to you without wrapping your fingers around the muzzle. Always maintain close control of the dog's head any time it is being examined. Once you have control of the head, you need to position the front legs. Start by setting the leg on the judge's side first. Lift and place the leg so that you can form a line straight down from the shoulder through the pastern, perpendicular to the floor. Once that leg is set, set the front leg closest to you. The front feet should be shoulder width apart, parallel, and facing forward. When the dog's front legs are in position, set the rear legs. Remember to maintain control of the head with the hand that is closest to the head. There should be a straight line from the hock through the heel and perpendicular to the floor. The back legs are usually set a little wider than the front. Once stacked, the dog's attention may be kept with the use of bait. Keep checking the placement of the dog's feet once it is stacked. Any movement out of position needs to be corrected quickly but smoothly. The lead should be gathered neatly in your hand and not draped over the dog. You must remember to keep the dog between you and the judge and therefore you must stay mobile, being able to move freely around the dog as the judge moves around you and your dog. 